I grew a new stick for you. Please like it. I might Mickey Mouse now. I don't know. <laughs> I've used that line on many a women, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi. And, uh, Haunted House. Ah, uh, Real Monsters. Yeah. Oh, that was a good show. It was okay. I mean, as far as 90s Nickelodeon goes, it was good, but it wasn't one of the best. That's true. Still better than most <laughs> stuff today. <laughs> back in my day, we had cool cartoons. We did. They were all similar back then, and now we complain about them being similar today. Yeah, we changed. The cartoons <laughs> didn't. <laughs> Am I out of touch? No, it's the kids who are wrong. Yes. <laughs> all right. The bravado in her voice is all but gone. The vengeful spirit is now merely a frustrated one. Her hair is floating. If you stay here, then whatever happens is going to be your own fault. The red light behind her flares up, tinting the walls with a blazing glow. Pup's barks return with killing intent. The sheet ghost lunges at me through the air, yep. and Pup just fucking runs yep, yep. up and bites out her jugular, and it's over. <laughs> yeah. Well, guess that takes care of that. Guard dog. <laughs> I spin around, diving for the gun cabinet. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Jesse. Come on. Please tell me you forgot to lock it. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. It's just a prank. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a goof. <laughs> it's like those YouTube videos. Just a prank, bro. It's just a prank. <laughs> I pull the handle and the door opens with my momentum. Yes. I knew I could always count on you, Jesse. Remind me to take you out to dinner if I don't die here. Okay. <laughs> the shotgun still leans against the back of the cabinet, undisturbed and untouched. I reach up and grab for it. The metal crushes my chest as I hoist it into position. Adrenaline pumps through me. I push down on the safety, wrap my finger around the trigger. Strands of hair stick to my face as I stare down the barrel. At my feet, the sheet goes stares at me, now firmly on the ground. Oh my god. Jesus, this is so <laughs> directly in my sights. A ghost! Let me shoot it! <laughs> America! <laughs> My Are you kidding me? <laughs> my trigger finger shakes. I shake. The temperature of my blood plummets and my body freezes with cold sobriety. Oh, this... God. It's a death eater. <laughs> <laughs> what is her... Is the pup her Patronus? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I wanted from this job. I never wanted to hurt people, to you point guns to, at them, or you, punch them in the face. You have to point at them and say, expecto patronum first, or I can't do anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> All I wanted was to protect. <laughs> <laughs> the fabric bra draped over Who the died? ghost stretches back. Pup dances around its feet, its tail wagging as he tugs away the sheet like it's a game of tug of war. It's clearly a girl under here. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't shoot these <laughs> random people. The sheet falls to the ground and I finally get to see what, or rather who, is attached to those wiry legs. You almost shot me! <laughs> <laughs> shot an angel <laughs> how's that make you feel <laughs> like a burglar caught in the act she stands there wide-eyed and trembling leaves rustle off her tiny beige dress and there always seems to be more stuck to her even her long brushed out hair has twigs and leaves shaped into a wreath resting on top of her head but more interesting than all of that are the pair of wings protruding from her back. Probably should have started with that. <laughs> yeah, that weird shit in her hair. Oh my god, she has wings! <laughs> oh, that's how she's floating. Feathery and white like an angel's in a painting. This happens to everybody. <laughs> a kid? <laughs> an angel? <laughs> I don't know anything about kids. Do they all have wings? Yeah. <laughs> and a little one at that. I could scoop her up in both arms if I wanted to. Please don't. What on earth do you think you're doing? So tall. The shadowy ghost stomps across the floorboards, making a beeline directly for me. Panicked, I shift the gun to her, but she's already towering over me. Not another step! Her green eyes glare at me. In their intense anger, they almost seem to glow as she grips her hand around the shotgun. Do it, I dare you! <laughs> I close I my eyes. I want eye. you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you strike me down, I'll come back twice as strong. <laughs> I close my eyes and let my voice tumble into a shriek. Get to, away! I need to become an angel like my little sister here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I pull the trigger once. Oh, God. Oh, well, shit. Twice. Three, Three times, times a lady. A lady. <laughs> I knew it! I knew you were gonna do it, so I had to do it. <laughs> Nothing. That can't be right. Shooting blanks, just like my ex. <laughs> my eyes snap open, just in time to see her wrestle the gun from me. Let's see how you like it. <laughs> you suck at this. <laughs> I thought they taught you goons better than to go around and point these things at people. 
She moves to remove. She, she moves to remove the bullets from the chamber. Except there are none. Huh. Well, that'd be why you didn't shoot me. <laughs> and if you do, then make sure they're loaded. Did they hire you out of pity? <laughs> I glance back into the cabinet. A small box of shells sit discarded in the corner. Yeah, you don't leave a gun loaded in a cabinet. <laughs> of course. I slump further onto my back. This is it. I'm dead. Probably what I deserve. The little girl, paler than the sheet she was wearing, looks up at the bigger ghost. Her eyes swell with tears. Yo Yosemite! <laughs> she lets out a timid squeak and dashes behind her bigger friend. <laughs> she wraps herself around her legs, content to stay only half hidden as she sniffles. I don't want her to join my family. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Zion. She brings the little one closer and frowns, watching small tears trickle down her cheeks. From far away, she looked like a creature from a horror movie. Unnatural blue hair with frosted white tips. Ugh, sure, this weird, is awesome. Weird anime girl. <laughs> her entire body drenched in that red glow. This cost $200. <laughs> <laughs> but after seeing her up close and watching the concern wash over her, she almost seems like a normal girl. Except the ears. Almost. <laughs> I'm Hylian. Zion? Yosemite? Just... Who are you people? Her head twists back to me. My shoulders tense up. I scoop back, but there's nowhere else to Would go. Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Silence, mortal. We have haunted these grounds long before you are here. Oh, here, let me just get that for you. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the red light from the closet fades away. The lamps surge back on along the rest of the power. So I guess they actually do haunt it. Yeah. And we shall haunt them long after you've returned. To the, the ground. That's what As, you guys do, right? You're going to die. <laughs> Someday. She, she pauses. I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I blink at her. She blinks at me. Is this Morse code? <laughs> Ye Yellowstone? Uh, Third girl. Yeah, boss. <laughs> oh, God. Is it the dog? <laughs> yeah. yeah <it> just go <laughs> I don't know what she looks like yet. Yeah. <laughs> the closet answers back. She looks like a closet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Want to tell me why the lights are back on? You're going to have to, like, figure out. Yeah. You have to remember I... all these girls. I mean, I could take one if you want, but sure, I've got... Sure, go ahead. Are you sure? Take whoever this third one's going to be. Okay. I'll take uh, Elf and Lowly Girl. All right, so you got the Yosemite and Zion, and I've got... I can't remember what yeah. the third one was supposed to be. Well, I mean, at first it was calling them something different, too, so I was, like, losing my mind. <laughs> well, i got to do another girl voice. What the hell am I going to do? I don't know. British? <laughs> sure. I always do British. You can always do something stupid. <laughs> Um, I'll just, yeah, I'll just do something more girly. Well, cause I flipped them back on, duh. There you go, Paula Dean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that, but why? I slowly reach for the gun. <laughs> One chance to take it back. Maybe even the shells, too. Cause the jig's up. She's not oh. buying it anymore. Okay. A teenage girl springs out of the closet. Her clothes are a colorful array of pastel, and her bright twin tails bounce up and down. She'd be the most normal looking out of all one out of all of them, if not for one distracting detail. The yarmulke on her head? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sprouting from the top of her head like a mountain erupting from the ground is a giant cone, flattened at the top, and various shades of brown. It reminds me of a volcano from a child science project. Well. Don't stare at it, that's rude. <laughs> she's very self conscious about it. <laughs> she's looking at my volcano. I don't know why is she's it, not wearing a hat then. Right? Is it a costume? A hat? It looks like it bends right into her hair. See? She's already getting ready to flip your lid. The bigger one glances back at me. In my confused daze, I completely forgot about my hand hovering over the gun. <laughs> Rolling her eyes, she yanks it away and slides it into the other end of the room. <laughs> Goes off. <laughs> yeah, oh, I guess it was loaded. Just get rid of this shit. <laughs> she squats down. With a flat stare, she gives me a flick on the forehead. A dull pain ripples through my skull. <laughs> Sorry, too hard. <laughs> yeah, she's like a DBZ character. She's like yeah. super powerful. That was only 2% of my power. <laughs> I know you're eager to take my home away from me again, but let me sort this out first, okay, gunslinger? I, God. I soothe my forehead while grinding my teeth into fine powder. No, not okay. How about you try doing that again? I already, I already did it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> a slimy grin squirms across her face, and she raises her hand again. Thumb and finger ready. I brace for the next flick, but before it can come, Pop hops to my rescue and lunges at her ankle. All right, bitch, that's enough. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Get off my woman. 
<laughs> she stumbles away in time, but Pup stands his ground in front of me, snarling. Heh, <laughs> good boy. Thanks. <laughs> what did I ever do to you? I'd give you belly rubs and everything. <gasps> Slut. Oh, she's the one that gets it to come back, not Smith or whatever his yeah. name was. <laughs> <laughs> she, she whines. Pup howls. I think I love this little guy a little more with every passing minute. Zion, sweetie, can you keep the fluff ball at bay for me? The little girl, who has since retreated to the kitchen with her other friend, gives a quick nod. Uh, okay! <laughs> with intense focus, she flaps her little wings and drifts across the room, pan- patting in her lap as she calls for Pup. Hey, boy, wanna play? <laughs> she puckers her lips to whistle, but only air comes out. When she realizes that won't work, she, she clicks her tongue. Digging into her hair, she untangles a twig, <laughs> then waves it around for all to see. <laughs> I think that was more... Oh, okay. Like you do with an animal. <laughs> <laughs> I grew a new stick for you. Please like it. Why am I Mickey Mouse now? I don't know. <laughs> I've used that line on many a women, by the way. <laughs> I grew a new stick for you. Please, Please. like it. <laughs> That's all I got. Yeah. <laughs> Pop's head snaps up. His snarl melts into a smiling pant as he dashes over completely forgetting about his duty to protect me. Oh, she got a new stick, bro. <laughs> this was a disaster. The tall girl pinches the bridge of her nose and sighs. Uh, no small part thanks to your lack of commitment. She turns to the one in the kitchen whose head is bobbing back and forth to a silent melody. I was tired. <laughs> she slumps over the counter and groans. <laughs> We've done this like a million times. It's the pits. That's going to be really hard to keep, to maintain. I love it. <laughs> we do it because it works. That last guy rarely stepped foot in here after we gave him a good scare. So, they really did think it was haunted? That's because it is. Now go away. <laughs> <laughs> She's different. Dollface over there put up a fight. Dollface? I'd be annoyed if this weren't so confusing. I don't like her. Well, screw you two. <laughs> You don't like nobody. She's Snoopy. Okay. <laughs> Are you Linus? I don't... Yeah, and I'm Woodstock. <laughs> she gives me a sus- suspicious eye. The feeling is mutual. Where's the VN of girls named after music concerts, <laughs> festivals? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come. Come. Wait, did Bonnaroo? Yes. Come. Lollapalooza. Wait, where did Bonnaroo come from? Wasn't that a thing? Yeah. In one of our playthroughs? I don't know. We mentioned music festivals before, and I don't know why. Because we weren't con- we weren't sure yeah. what one of them was. Okay, whatever. Conehead grabs the tea kettle from the stove and skips Conehead. over to us. <laughs> <laughs> I will enjoy it. <laughs> That's kind of why I like her. She flips open the kettle's lid and holds it up to her tall friend. The tall one wrings out her hair like a wet rag. Water, more than any sponge could retain, flows into the kettle. So she's just, like, constantly wet. Yes. I like it. <laughs> I'm going to grow a stick for her. <laughs> when she stops, the water is near the top. I'm going to use that from now on. We'll make this one a wrap. <laughs> the water's near the top, and her hair is bone dry. What the hell? That's what I'm thinking. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel that way, even if it's incorrect. Fumes begin to wisp out from the opening at the top of Conehead. A red glow crackles beneath it. <laughs> they haven't told her, her name. their names yet. <laughs> yeah, I so. know. No, seriously, what the hell? <laughs> what is this stupid shit? <laughs> That's the tidiest tea kettle in the world. Delicately, she balances the kettle on top of her head. Lemongrass again? <laughs> please, please, and don't sneak sugar in it this time. Steam begins to rise from the spout of the kettle, followed by a simmering whistle. The whistling gets louder and the arguing drags on. Pup barks as he rushes across the room to fetch the stick. The steam grows thicker. And as the noise builds and builds and builds, I feel my blood boiling in my veins. Any fear I had has been suppressed by the intense need for some peace and quiet. For some clarification. For something to actually make sense for once. I climb to my feet and draw in as much air as my lungs can take. Will somebody give me some answers? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's happening <laughs> The chatter fizzles out The winged girl shrinks back Hugging Pup close to her chest The kettle sounds like a train whistle All eyes are on me 
can't whistle loudly. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. That would that'd be ear splitting anyway through a <laughs> headphones or anything. Uh, Finally. We'll figure out what's going on. No, we won't. We probably won't. It's gonna be one of those things where it's just confusing all the time. Yeah. She's got a freaking kettle on her head. <laughs> 